What is that one project that's really going to help you build your skills so that you really take advantage of everything that you're learning and put yourself out there and get that first job? This is probably one of my top five questions that people ask me both to my face as well as in the comments section all over the place. I get this question. What's the best project for junior developers to really sink their teeth into to show that they understand something, to show that they've grown, to show what they can do so that employers will be interested in hiring them? Well, I hate to break the news to you, but there really is no holy grail project or silver bullet project that's going to guarantee that if you do this well, you're going to get a job. However, there are three characteristics of a project that I think you should take into consideration when you are building a project to help you learn your skills. These are the project attributes that I look for when I'm trying to learn something new and I want to use a project to build something and learn something in the process. So let's dive in. Hey, junior devs, Dev Mentor Dave here, helping you bridge the gap from learning to code to launching a successful career. And part of launching that successful career is building projects. In fact, almost everybody online is gonna tell you, you need to build projects. You see it on LinkedIn, you see it on YouTube, you need to build projects. And the reason for that is because building projects is what we do in real life. And so you're actually taking the skills, the knowledge, the training that you found, and you're putting that into real world practice. Now, while there may not be a perfect project to build, I want to give you three things to look for or to incorporate into the project that you're building, that you're working on, that will help you grow your skills faster, that will make it more confident in the things that you are learning. The first thing that I look for in a project when I'm trying to learn something new is I want to build something that I need or that somebody I know or love needs. For example, right now we're working on a budgeting software because it's a, it's something that I need. It's something that I want. I might be working on a project for a friend of mine to help them with something in their business or to help them with something in their personal life because it's something that they need. When you build something for yourself or for other people that you really want to implement, that you really want to use or that they really need, that's going to help you stay motivated in the process because no matter what you're trying to learn, there's going to come a time where you're going to hit kind of a lull and you're going to get tired of learning, you're going to get tired of programming, you're going to get tired of putting in the extra hours and the extra effort to really get this thing done, to really figure out the best way to do it. And you need something to motivate you to keep you moving forward. I found the best thing for me is build something that I need or build something that I want or build something for someone else. Hey, thanks for letting me be a part of your developer journey. We're in the process of building a community where junior developers can grow their skills and take that next step in their career. So if you're finding this content helpful, would you help me get this message out to more people by clicking the like button? And if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified the next time I upload a video or the next time I go live, which is every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central United States time. Also, don't forget, you can take your involvement with the Dev Mentor Dave community to the next level by joining our Discord server via the link in the description. Thanks again for your help and I'll let you get back to the video. The second thing that I look for, which probably is fairly obvious, but build a project that's going to force you to learn something new. Now you might be thinking, duh, that's the whole point of building this project, but you'd be surprised how many devs go around building the same types of projects using the same stuff they've already learned and just kind of doing the same crud over and over and over again. Now, when I say do a project that makes you learn something, that could be something that you've already learned, but going deeper. So if you're learning Laravel, go deeper in the documentation and find something in the documentation that you haven't used before and create a project that uses that piece of the software. Maybe it's just something that you want to learn new, like Vue or Laravel or Java or any other number of languages or frameworks or concepts, things that you want to learn to help you grow your skill set. Make sure that there's something in there that you're learning. Or if you're having a hard time figuring out what that new thing should be, ask another developer, ask a friend to suggest something and just do it, whether you feel like doing it or not, because honestly, that's going to happen a lot of times on the job. You're going to be told, hey, you need to learn this language or you need to learn this framework because this is what we're going to use on the job for this project. 
But the key is make sure whatever you're building, that you build something that you need or that somebody else needs to keep you motivated. And you're building something that's taking your knowledge deeper or expanding your knowledge to other things. Make sure you're learning something new all the time when you're working on this project. Okay, the third one, and this is really important and honestly one that most people skip. When you begin your project, when you decide, you plan it out, you figure out everything that you're going to do, set a time limit. Now, I'm not just talking about a time limit every day, how long you're gonna work on it. I'm talking about how long are you gonna give yourself to get this project done? Plan it out, figure out how long each feature you think is going to take, and then make a timeline and force yourself to stick within that timeline. Why do that? Because that's what we do every single day on the job. Almost no matter where you go to work, you're going to be under timelines, whether you're working on a project for the company that you're working for, or whether you're doing projects for third party companies or for individuals, there's always going to be a time crunch because the budget is always short. So choose a time frame, and maybe that means you create a reward for yourself if you make it within that time frame, but you don't get the reward if you don't make it in that time frame. Again, if you're having a hard time coming up with a time frame or forcing yourself into a time frame, have somebody else give you a time frame that you have to get it in. Now, make sure it's reasonable, but have someone else enforce that on you, just like you would have in a real job. Better yet, pick a project that has to do with some sort of seasonal situation. Maybe it has to do with lawn care or hunting or something like that that is a seasonal thing. Build an app that's related to something seasonal so you only have a certain amount of time to get that app finished so that it can be used during that season. So if you put these three keys into your next project, it's gonna help you stay motivated, it's gonna help you do things in a, in a certain amount of time, and it's gonna force you to learn all the new things that you wanna learn in that time period. And in the end, you'll force yourself to learn things faster. Of course, if you want another project to tackle, you can join the Dev Mentor Dave Discord channel and join the Deep Pockets project, community project that we're doing here on the Dev Mentor Dave YouTube channel. Click the link below to find out more in the Discord channel. Hey, I hope this has been helpful to you on your journey as a junior developer. And if it has, if you would click the like button, I'd really appreciate it. Helps Google know, hey, other people are interested in this content. And if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. You'll be notified the next time that I upload a video or the next time I go live, which is usually on Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Thanks for spending time with me today, and I'll see you on the next one.